What's going on everyone? And welcome back to Treebeard's Toy Box. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at my personal top 10 Star Wars The Black Series figures of 2021. Now, it's been kind of a rough year in my opinion for The Black Series as far as uh, distribution goes and kind of release wise. I've gotten a lot of uh, repaints and um, I don't know, it's just some figures I didn't think we necessarily needed, so. Um, but I was able to pick 10. Uh, it does get confusing. I had to take two figures off the list because I had forgotten they came out last year, so it, it gets confusing after a while. So we'll go ahead and start things off with a figure that we have needed in the line for quite some time, and uh, it comes from one of my favorite movies, and that is Return of the Jedi, and that is Bib Fortuna. And uh, I think it's perfect timing with the book Boba Fett coming up. And now we just need a uh, thicker version of this guy. Um, so yeah, he's definitely got some issues and he almost didn't make it on the list. Um, but I think that it's a pretty important figure and I think it's really nice that we finally got him. The head sculpt is amazing. Um, the detail, the color work, everything. We're getting some reused legs, which is a bummer. Um, but lots of other nice details. My biggest complaint would be that we it would have been nice to get some soft goods ro soft good robes um, so he could get a little bit more movement and maybe some different accessories other than the reused cups from the one of the exclusives from the Hascom this year. So. Could have been a little better, so that's why he's coming in at number 10. And he also shares Dryden Voss's legs. Uh, new boots, but same legs as Dragon Boss, so still a great figure, and it's awesome that we finally have him. So, uh, but now let's go ahead and move right along to number nine. So coming in at number nine, we have Q90 from the Mandalorian. This is a fun little figure, fun little droid. It's got some nice detail, sculpted and paint-wise. Nice wire work for his insides. Straps look very nice. Feels great in hand. And not much for accessories. He only comes with his rifle, uh, but he's still a solid figure. Not necessarily one of my favorite characters from The Mandalorian, but still happy to have him, and I think that they did a fantastic job with him. I dig his transparent joints down here, so it's not quite pinless. Um, but they're, they're cool and transparent for the ankles and the knees. I like that. And he's got some nice uh, kind of like rust details going on, like paint-wise. Just here and there. Kind of adds a little bit, and I dig that. So yeah, number nine. Q9 Zero from The Mandalorian. And now let's uh, move right along to number eight. So coming in at number eight, we have the Target exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi from The Clone Wars. And I love this figure. I think that he turned out fantastic. Even with the uh, the little bit of reuse that he has, um, we're getting that uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi head from the Walgreens exclusive. Um, but this one looks a lot better in my opinion. They just touched it up a bit. I uh, like the way his robes turned out here. I do like soft goods, but I like how this turned out a little bit more than the ones on the Walgreens exclusive. Those kind of got in the way a little bit, and this just, he feels a little more solid. This figure feels awesome in hand, by the way. Um, but yeah, number eight, fantastic figure for 2021. The, uh, the whole set that came out in this uh, line, there was four figures, and they were all, all great figures, um, but this one was definitely my favorite. And uh, I know some people have some uh, trouble finding them, but uh, I, I got pretty lucky, I have to say. So, not all the time, but with these, I definitely uh, lucked out and managed to get them all with no problems. So, number eight, Target exclusive, Obi-Wan Kenobi from The Clone Wars. Now, moving on to number seven. So, coming in at number seven, we have Tech from The Bad Batch. Now, this isn't my favorite member of the Bad Batch, but as far as the figures go, I think the tech turned out the best. 
He's got some really cool things going on with him. Uh, he gets a backpack just like the other guys. Get this little pistol that the other guys have. Um, but I dig his different colors, like the lighter shades instead of that darker. He just kind of stands out. And then I love all of his pouches. And he's got all these little tools that all come out. And those fantastic little detail, you know? And it's all those accessories. It's, it's fantastic. Um, so he's definitely, in my opinion, like I think Wrecker is my favorite, and that's a fantastic figure. But I had to give this dude the spot on the list just because he's just got so many cool things going on with the, uh, the all the little details with his pouches and everything and the little tools. And his helmet looks really cool. Look at that. So yeah, that goes down. And I didn't review this guy either. Um, pretty sure you know I, I didn't. I've <laughs> been sitting on him for a while. Uh, and I finally opened him up and uh, was uh, pretty, pretty surprised with how much I liked him. I mean, I knew I'd like him, but uh, he ended up being, uh, I think, my favorite out of the figures for the Bad Batch. Um, so yeah. He was uh, one of the ones that was harder for me to find. Uh, my buddy Joe eventually found him for me. Um, that whole wave, like the Costco Reeves wave, I didn't start seeing them in stores until the last two months, two, three months maybe, and not even all the figures. I've still never seen a Costco Reeves in store. Um, I've gotten one from GameStop and one from Amazon, so. Um, but yeah, Tech is a pretty sweet figure i definitely recommend him so and he is coming in at number seven so let's go ahead and move right along to number six so coming in at number six we've got another figure that we've needed to complete a team for a long long time and that is Bodie rook from rogue one and I, you know, we're all surprised, I'm sure, that it's taken him this long to give us this figure. Um, but he turned out fantastic, and I'm, I'm glad that they kind of waited till we got the, uh, some better tech going on at the, uh, with Hasbro and the way they're doing things at the factories. I think that he definitely benefited from those things. And it's gonna be nice to see the, uh, the rest of the team updated the uh, beginning of this year. I know some of the figures have started to come out. I did pick up Jin. Um, but a lot of them won't make it out, I think, until January, so. Um, yeah, Bodhi turned out fantastic. I love his backpack. Lots of nice detail and weathering. Yeah, number six, Bodhi Rook from Rogue One. So I'm going to be giving the number five slot to Aura Singh. And she is not like one of my favorite characters by any means. I have not really any attachment to her. I mean, she's definitely a cool character. Um, but this figure, and I've been sitting on this one for a while too. I just opened her like maybe a couple weeks ago and she is freaking fantastic. She's beautiful. You cannot deny um, the detailing in her hair. I mean, her the face is beautiful. These chains here. Now I believe some of this is reuse. Um, I'm not positive. I think maybe the, like right here, the lower torso and maybe the upper legs. The boots are new, I believe. Um, the vest is new. The head obviously is new. Her hair is fantastic. She's got this beadwork going on in there and these different colors going on. Um, yeah, I, I love this figure and I think that she turned out really nice. We get some decent accessories. Her rifle's really cool. It's got a removable strap. She's got two handguns. And yeah, just the detail here in her chains and everything. The paint work. We've got some little rivets back here. On the back of her straps here for her holsters. Just fantastic attention to detail with this figure. So even with my, you know, not really having much attachment to the character, I had to give her the number five slot. She's just, she's beautiful. 
Um, she's a really well done action figure. And I gotta, gotta give them props for it, so. Aura Singh. The beautiful Aura Singh. Uh, she's, I mean, she's even got detail on the back of her vest here. Look at that, really nice. So yeah, fantastic figure. Definitely recommend. This is another from uh, the same wave as Tech, and then uh, Casca Reeves, Bo-Katan. Uh, not or uh, cube zero uh, but yeah they were just started popping up here for me I know I mean they probably popped up before but I've missed them like I think scalpers have gotten them or other collectors but I haven't started seeing them until recently uh, I was out able to grab a couple from GameStop and then uh, my buddy Joe's helped me out and then I just started seeing a couple of them out out in the wild so um, hope you can hopefully you can find her definitely good luck i definitely recommend her and she is number five so uh now for number four so number four is actually going to be tied between the beautiful bo katan and Casca reeves and my reason for doing that is because these are pretty much the same figure with some slightly different paint apps and we've got one holster for Casca and two for Bo. And obviously we get different head sculpts and their helmets are slightly different. But other than that, the base of these figures is the same. And I think that these, both of these ladies are badass. And I love both the characters on the show about the same. Um, I mean, Bo reaches out throughout the rest of the Star Wars universe. And Casca, we're just now seeing now, but she definitely held her own on the Mandalorian. So stoked to see, hopefully we see more of her. And she's a pretty badass wrestler too. So these two are coming in at number four and I had to give a, give them both a slot. I uh, hope you can understand that. And if you can't, I mean, it's just my opinion. So but yeah, number four, these two beautiful ladies, Casca Reeves and Bo-Katan two badass Mandalorians from Mandalore. So coming in at number three, we have the deluxe Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. And I love this figure so much that I actually bought three of him. And I've got one still in the packaging, keeping it earning. Uh, but yeah, this, this figure's fantastic. I think the accessories he came with were great. Uh, the, the attention to detail, I know some would complain and say that uh, some of the colors are inaccurate. I'm not gonna nitpick that. Like, I, I think the the attention to detail and everything and all the paint apps turned out really nice, even if some of them are incorrect. Um, I just like it a lot. He feels really nice in hand. He's way better than the one we've had uh, that they've reused a few times from The Empire Strikes Back. Um, this would have been nice to who have been uh, soft goods, but I actually really like how it turned out. It's a, a softer plastic got some holes in it so it's got some some wear kind of realistic I, I love this figure had to give him number three um, I just yeah all the accessories he comes with everything about him he just fantastic Boba Fett here um, yeah what more can I say he's beautiful a must-have for any Star Wars fan, you know, even if he's not one of your favorite characters, this is a solid Black Series figure. Definitely gotta have this. Number three. And now moving on to number two. So coming in at number two, we have Fennec Shand. And this figure is pretty fantastic. They did such a great job with this figure. Um, she is a 2021 release. I know that she's not hitting everywhere yet. Um, but I did get lucky one morning on the way to work and found her at a Walmart. Um, and she's just such a great figure. She feels great in hand. She's got, uh, she comes with a nice sniper rifle and her awesome helmet. And she's got a lot of nice, like, sculpted detail in her wardrobe and, like, different patterns and textures going on. So really, really nice uh, attention to detail. And her, like, her hair looks fantastic, the braid work. Um, just 
turned out really nice. They did uh, such a fantastic job on this figure. Um, yeah, number two, happy to say, is this Fennec Shand, and I highly recommend her. It's nice because she can go with your Bad Bash figures, and she can go with your Mandalorian figures, and then you know, we've got the Book of Boba Fett coming up, so looking forward to that. So yeah, number two. And now let's uh, move right along to number one. So coming in at number one, for my favorite Star Wars The Black Series figure of 2021, and maybe my favorite figure of the year. He is currently my favorite figure in my collection right now. And that is the brand new Boba Fett from Tython, where he first meets Mando. And he does come with a soft goods robe, but this is how I rock him. I love how he looks here. Wild Wild West. This dude is badass. This figure is perfect in my opinion. Um, he's got uh, a couple other accessories, but this is how I rock him. Just with his sidearm here. This pistol is awesome and the holster that it goes into is awesome. I love this figure so much. Hasbro did such a fantastic job with this Boba Fett. And I, I'm so stoked for the Book of Boba Fett next week. And yeah. This guy's definitely going to tide me over until we get the uh, deluxe one that comes out next year. Um, that's going to be a lot of uh, reuse of this anyways. So, um, but yeah, I hope you can get your hands on this. I still have not seen him in the wild. Um, I've seen this wave a few times now and missed him every time. The scalpers are going hard on this dude. So good luck. Um, I had to pay a pretty penny for him. Not proud of it, but I'm very happy at least that I love the figure so much, so it was worth it to me. Um, but yeah, he's uh, definitely hard to find, so good luck. Um, but yeah, he's he's worth it. He is such a fantastic figure. Uh, the accessories are great. The sculpting, the articulation. If, if you were to have any complaint, his, his legs are a little bulky because of the design, but I don't even mind. I really, really like this figure, so that's why he comes in at number one, and is currently <clears throat> my favorite figure in my collection right now. This dude is such a beast, such a fantastic figure in every way. Uh, so yeah, Boba Fett, Tython. He has this outfit on uh, when, the, like, in the first episode from uh, season two as well, um, but they're calling it Tython from when he has his. Uh, stand off with all the uh, stormtroopers and such so but yeah fantastic figure that is my top 10 that's gonna do it um yeah i really appreciate you hanging out and watching if you made it all the way through thank you so much please be sure to hit that like button and if you are not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button and yeah i hope you've had a, a decent year and yeah until next time, take good care.